Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how to render a simple grid with code first approach in MVC5. In order to render this simple grid, we are going to use HTML structure to render the grid structure. We are going to use code first approach to create database and table and for fetching data from the database. We are going to use bootstrap to improve the design of the table. So let's see through the application how we are going to achieve this. We have uh, ASP.NET MVC5 application and I have chose empty template to generate this project so, so that we don't have any controller, we don't have any model, we don't have any view, we are going to generate everything from scratch. So let me add one class and create the model of the project. So in this example we are going to use employee as our example. So we have employee class. Let me add few properties quickly. So the first property is the employee ID. And then we have the name of the employee. And we also want employees age we want employees resignation as well at what level the employee is working we also want to track from where the employee is coming so we are tracking it by location property and finally we want to have employees experience as well so we have created a simple basic model class that is employee now we are going to create a data context class for our application and we are going to inherit that class from db context and that is the way we do in the code first approach so first in order to do that I have to add references of two assemblies so those two assemblies are entity framework and system.data.entity so let me add them and then we are going to add our context class so let me add one more class I will name it as grid context.cs so now in order to use code first approach I have to refer system.data.entity namespace and now I'm going to inherit this class from db context class and I'm going to create one property of type db set of my type employee model class so I'll refer my employee class here and I'm going to name this property as employees so what code first approach will do it will generate a database naming sample grid dot models dot grid context inside this database it will create a table of property employees corresponding to property employees which is of type db set of employee so we'll see how this will be done by the entity framework or of code first approach so let me add a empty controller till then so we'll add an empty controller I'm going to name it as home controller the default conventions used so I'm going to have index method in the controller and I'm going to add a simple view and I'm going to keep it quite simple empty template I'm not going to use any layout on my view so my view is also ready now I'm going to create a private object of my grid context class so I'm going to use this context object to fetch data from the database ideally we should not use the object of context class directly in the controller there are ways to do that 
but for now for this example I'm doing it so I say context dot employees the property I've created in the context class dot to list so I'm sending the enumerable list to my view so now when this view will be called when this context object will be used to fetch data from employees table the code first approach will check if there is any database in the server if he doesn't find any database it will try to create the database and accordingly it will create the table based on the properties marked as db set so let me check the route the default controller in action so it corresponds to home and index which is the same in our case and let me run the application so you can see it is still loading you can see the view has rendered now let me add something to the view so that we can confirm whether view has actually rendered so I say index view and I'll refresh the window you can see index view is rendered so that means the code first approach would have created the database for us so in order to check where it has created the database in which server and what table it has used what connection stick it has used so you, you can always put a debugger here in the index method and just refresh the page and inspect the context object under base under database under connection there is a connection string property you can see this is the server name code first approaches has used to create the database so let me continue the debugger let me remove it as well and let me go to the SQL Server Management Studio I'm going to connect my studio with this server which is used by the code first approach I'm going to use a Windows authentication and I click on connect and if I go under database folder you can see there is a database name sample grid dot models which is the namespace of our grid context class and finally the name of the context class that is grid context and inside this database we have a table named employees which corresponds to our dbset property inside grid context class so this is how code first approach creates the database and the table so if you check the columns in the employees table it will corresponds to the properties in the employee class you can see employee id name age the same properties will be created as a columns in this table so let me query this table so as, as of now there will be no data in the employees table so I have a hard code query already being written so let me run this query to have data so now if I check employees I have 13 records in my table so now I have to make HTML structure on my view so that I can represent the data which I'm sending as a list enumerable list of employees to this view so in order to do that I'm going to make my view a strongly typed so in order to do that I'm going to refer the model in my view and it will be of type enumerable and the class the list of type it is sending to the view is sample grid dot models dot employee now inside this div I'm going to create tabular structure so I'm going to add one tab I'm going to have the table head inside this I'm going to create table headers th so similarly I'll have table headers for all the properties and this table header will be inside a table row which I missed so my second property is name then I have, I have age then designation location and finally I have year of experience so my header is ready now I'm going to 
at tag spot table body so now I'm going to iterate over my model inside table body to create multiple rows so that if I have 13 records in the database in the table I have to have 13 rows inside the table so I have to iterate so in order to iterate I'll use for each where employee in my model so what I'm going to do here I'm going to create a TR for each employee and inside this TR I'm going to create TDs so in order to access employee I use add the weight variable employee dot employee ID similarly I will create TD for all my properties so let me name all of them H then I have designation and I have location and finally experience so now my table structure is ready so let me refresh my view so you can see the view has rendered a grid like structure or a table like structure but the look or the design of this table is quite ugly and it doesn't look good so in order to improve its style we are going to use bootstrap so what happens in bootstrap basically bootstrap has predefined CSS and themes so we can anytime use those themes to design our application so in order to do that I'm going to add one folder which will hold all the content like CSS images so I'm going to so I have these CSS files bootstrap which I've downloaded from the internet so I'm going to refer these CSS files so in order to refer them let me add existing item and I'll copy the path and I'm going to add this CSS files okay I say add so you can see bootstrap theme.css and bootstrap.css I'm going to refer these CSS files in my view so you can see I have referred these CSS files now in order to give the border and proper UI I just need to give the class I have to say I want class for table and the class I want to use is table border just I have to refer these two files bootstrap.css and then I have to apply this class to my table and let me refresh and check what it gives oh, oh I think I have to start my application again just a minute yeah so you can see your tabular structure has been rendered with proper borders so let me uh, add some style to make it smaller in width so I say I want its width to be 600 pixel so I refresh the page you can see the data has been rendered in proper tabular structure so this is how we can use bootstrap to give it a proper style so this is how you can render a simple grid using code first approach in MVC file and also we can use bootstrap to give it a proper design we can also have custom stores custom sorting paging on this type of grids we can also have edit delete and add functionality on these grids we'll see all these features in the upcoming part of this series so for now i'm done with rendering a simple grid with code first approach in mvc5 i hope you like this video thank you friends